Hello world. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel please first of all watch the previous videos. Oh else you will not understand anything in this video. So for your knowledge please check the previous videos first. I will put those videos on the i button. Click on it and see the previous lessons. So further wasting any time let's begin today's lesson. So today's topic is what is NetBIA's enumeration? And what are the types of enumerated by intruders? NetBIA's enumeration. NetBIA stands for Network Basic Input Output System. It allows computer communication over LAN. And allows them to share files and printers. NetBIA's names are used to identify network devices over TCP IP. Windows. It must be unique on a network. Limited to 16 characters where 15 characters are used for the device name. And the 16th character is reserved for identifying the type of service running or name record type. Attackers use the NetBIA's enumeration to obtain List of computers that belong to a domain List of shares on the individual hosts on the network Policies and passwords Commands and tools used And BTST80 Utility used to find protocol statistics NetBIA's name table and name cache details Superscan. GUI tool used to enumerate Windows machine. NetView. Command line tool to identify shared resources on a network. Types of information enumerated by intruders. Network resource and shares. Users and groups. Routing tables. Auditing and service settings. Machine names. Applications and banners. SNMP and DNS details. Techniques for enumeration. Extracting usernames using email IDs. Extract information using the default password. Brute Force Active Directory. Extract usernames using SNMP. Extract user groups from Windows. Extract information using DNS Zone Transfer. Services and Port to Enumerate. TCP 53. DNS Zone Transfer. TCP 135. Microsoft RPC Endpoint Mapper TCP 137 NetBIA's Name Service TCP 139 NetBIA Session Service SMB over NetBIA's TCP 445 SMB over TCP Direct Host UDP 161 SNMP TCP slash UDP 389 LDAP, TCP slash UDP 3368, Global Catalog Service, TCP 25, Simple Mail Transfer Protocol, SMTP, NetBIA's Enumeration, and Null Session. NetBIA's Null Sessions occurs when you connect any remote system without username and password. It is usually found in systems with common Internet File System, SIFS or server message block SMB. Depending on operating system, once attacker is in with null session he or she can explore information about groups, shares, permissions, policies and even password hashes. Null session attack uses vulnerability in SMB protocol for creating connection. Because it uses SMB uses trust for any kind of relationship between devices available in network. By default null sessions are enabled in Windows 2000 and Windows NT. Actually it is also enabled by default in Windows XP and Windows 2003 server but they don't allow enumeration of user accounts. Any of the following port must be open to perform NetBIA's enumeration and null session attacks because they represent SMB and NetBIA is supported by network. Port 135 Remote Procedure Call, RPC, Port 137, NetBIA's Name Service, Port 138, NetBIA's Datagram Service, Port 139, NetBIA Session Service. Please note that all above services may use any of the TCP or UDP protocol. The method to connect to remote system via null session requires you to connect to any device or share. By default in all Windows systems inter-process communication. IPC dollar. 
runs as hidden share dollar denotes share on remote system. We can say that IPC is null session share. Now to check whether the system is vulnerable to null session or not type following commands. C colon backslash greater than net use backslash backslash IP underscore address backslash IPC dollar. For example, C colon backslash greater than net use backslash backslash 192.168.56.1 backslash IPC dollar. Next type. C colon backslash greater than net use backslash backslash IP underscore address backslash IPC slash U. Where slash U denotes you want to connect without username and password. Now explore further information. C colon backslash greater than net view backslash backslash IP underscore address will show you list of shares, computers, devices, etc. So here we complete how we can manually perform NetVIA's enumeration and null session attack. In further posts we will cover some tools that are used for the above purpose and then available countermeasures. Till then practice above method of enumerating NetVIA's and tell me if you have any difficulty. You can try your own IP address. 127.0.0.1 To enumerate if you want. Please ask if you have any problem using above commands and please practice hacking is practical thing you can never learn without practicing. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you like it. If you are new to my channel please subscribe my channel. And please like and share my videos. And you can follow me on my Instagram account link is on my description. And also can join our WhatsApp group link is on my description. Thank you, and goodbye.